Well guys, AMD is soon going to announce their next generation Navi GPUs for Radeon graphics cards, which will be aiming at the desktop gaming PC market. And while the announcement is scheduled for May 27th, a printed circuit board shot of what seems to be the next generation AMD Radeon RX Navi based graphics card has leaked out via Kamachi. So let's take a quick moment to discuss what's going on here. The alleged PCB seems to be of a high-end graphics card based on the 7 nanometer Navi GPU. It's certainly not an entry-level graphics card, and based on the specs that we're looking at, it could be a proper Radeon RX 580 replacement. Now jumping into the details, we see the very large ball grid array for the GPU and VRAM. And while we can't say for sure which GPU or well, rather which Navi variant this card would utilize, we can speculate that it would probably be the higher end design. Surrounding the GPU package, we can spot BGAs for eight DRAM packages and looking closely, the BGA package size is 180 contact points, which means this card will be using GDDR6 memory and making them the first AMD based graphics card to utilize the new standard. The eight DRAM packages also confirm a 256 bit bus interface, which shows that this card would be a replacement for somewhere around the RTX 2070, which also features a 256 bit bus interface and an eight gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM. Only the front side of the PCB of the BGA package, which suggests the card, features 8GB RAM since the back side of the PCB cannot be utilized for extra DRAM placement, as far as this design shows. As far as display connectors are concerned, we're looking at two DisplayPort, a single HDMI, and also what seems to be a USB Type-C port at the bottom left side of the PCB. AMD could be following in NVIDIA's footsteps here, who did offer a USB Type-C virtual link connector for their RTX 20 series cards, because we all know VR is where the future is. In terms of power delivery, the card looks to be an eight phase VRM and power is provided through two PCIe connectors. The cutouts are for eight pin connectors, but it's up to the manufacturer to use them as an eight or a six or even two six pins, who knows? So Buildzoid himself has already given his baseless speculation over here on YouTube and we have it included in the link down below if you wanna go check that out while mulling over pictures of said PCB. This could still be a very early design, which may be vastly different than the retail model, which we receive later. But it's still interesting to see as the design choices here seem to indicate what kind of product AMD is working on. And since at least two PCBs were pictured next to each other, it's very much believed that this card is under production right now, and we can see the final model by Computex. We know a few tidbits about the features of AMD Navi GPUs, which would support things like ray tracing, which is recently confirmed to be the highlight of the next generation Sony and Microsoft consoles, which will be utilizing AMD Navi 10 GPUs and Zen 2 based Ryzen CPUs. There's also talk about variable rate shading, believing to introduce these on the new GPUs, as a bid by AMD to more modernize their Radeon graphics card for the mainstream market. And Navi would possibly be the last GPU architecture based on AMD's GCN DNA. It was confirmed through AMD's Linux driver that Navi is indeed based on GCN and has the latest GFX 1010 code name while Vega was termed as GFX 900. There would be major improvements made to Navi architecture in terms of IPC and 7 nanometer efficiency would be a showcase of the new cards, providing more drastic results compared to the Radeon 7, which was also 7 nanometer, but based on a simply a die shrunk Vega GPU. Expect to hear more about the upcoming Navi GPUs at Computex 2019 on May 27th, where CEO Dr. Lisa Su will be presenting the opening keynote and announcing their next generation products. So let us know what your thoughts are on the upcoming Navi GPUs. Are you getting a little more excited or is the weight getting a bit too much? So this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.